Hi everyone, welcome to Plants and Lucia. My name is Lucia and today we make seed bombs. Okay, coming up. This channel is all about houseplants, so if you want to learn how to take care of them, how to display them, or even how to connect with them, please make sure to subscribe so we can see each other every week. But now, let's get to the video. To make your seed bombs, you will need two to three pieces of color or scratch paper, wild flower seeds, two cups of water, a blender, a big bowl and a strainer, a small bowl, a cloth and a sponge, and cookie cutters or a silicone mold. Start by shredding all of your paper. This was actually pretty fun, so I hope that you have as much fun as I did. Then give it a good mix, just like so. Add the paper to your blender. water and make sure that it covers the paper all the way up and blend place your paper pulp right inside the strainer over the cloth and add two to three tablespoons of seeds actually smaller seeds blend better so make sure to include those in your mix After adding the seeds, squeeze all the water out. And add your paper mixture to your cookie cutters or to the silicone mold. If you don't have any of this, it's okay. You can make balls with your hands. It will have the same effect. Use a sponge to squeeze the remaining water out and let it dry overnight. As you can see, seed bombs are really fun and easy to make. But I think the coolest thing about them is their history. They were actually a big part of a movement in the 1970s called the Guerrilla Gardening, which basically was about taking the city spaces back and green them up. There are many Guerrilla Gardeners today and there are many inspiring stories about them. Watch actually this video right here, it's a very inspiring story about Ron Finley, a guerrilla gardener in South Central LA. So let's keep greening up our cities with these little guys. If you know any other methods to make seed bombs, please make sure to comment below so we can all learn together. Of course, if you like this video, please join the community and subscribe so we can see each other every week. And as always, I will see you next week. Bye!